I am Caddy, and welcome to another episode of Caddy's Jam Cave. Alright, so what have I got for you today? This is what I got. The orange dark terror. Isn't she gorgeous? Bloody beautiful. Don't let the sides of it fool you though. This thing is a high gain machine and it has a friggin' thick, juicy, fat sound. All right, so front panel. On and off switch. Standby in the middle. Seven watts at the bottom, 15 watts at the top. Uh, you know, just if you're familiar with orange amplifiers, very basic uh, knobs. <laughs> The EQ is built into one, so what is it like? It must be like bass, treble, maybe mids, all built into one shape knob. So you can sweep across, uh, sweep across the spectrum and get loads of different tones out of this instead of individually, you know, adjusting uh, those EQ knobs. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. Volume control and obviously gain. Alright, on the back, just your input tracks there. So you've got two 8 ohm inputs. I guess that's if you want to plug it into a full stack or just the one input to a one 8 ohm cabinet. And it also got the option for obviously for a 16 ohm cabinet as well. And effects loop input, sorry, return and send. And that's buffered with a valve. All up, it weighs about 6.8 kilos. What's that? About 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds. So this thing is a full valve amplifier, unlike the Tiny Terra, which was which is like a hybrid with one preamp tube. This is a full valve amp. Uh, so specs got three 12AX7 preamp tubes, one 12AT7 in the effects loop, and two EL84 power tubes. Tubes, tubes. That must be annoying to Americans that Aussies saying tubes. YouTube, tube, tube, yeah, I admit it, our accent is bloody annoying. So this is my very first full-on valve amplifier. Um, you know, I've played lots of valve amps before, you know, PV uh, 5150, 6505, uh, a full Marshall Plexi, uh, what else? Oh, Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. But I've never really felt the need to buy a valve amp. I've always been able to get the tones that I like out of solid state and hybrid amps. And also with um, modeling amps. So, my first valve amp. And uh, it was a bargain. $799 Australian on special from $1050. I was thinking about getting a um, EVH3 Stealth. But. I just couldn't justify spending the money in the end. I thought, no, this thing, I like, I like this. And plus, it's also a class one valve amp, which means you don't have to rebias it every time you bloody change tubes. Tubes, tubes, valves. Oh, almost forgot. This came in the package. An awesome orange gig bag. I've uh, used it just to store all my like effect pedal cables and power cables you know but nonetheless very cool well i guess you're thinking you know shut the f up caddy just play some tones through it you got it it's in standby let's flick her on go to 15 watts i think it takes about what 15 20 seconds for it to um Warm up before you can hear anything out of it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Sitting here masturbating. Here it comes. Pardon the pun. All right, let's start with very low settings and see what we get. Bit of volume. I guess you can get sort of a bit of a clean tone out of that. I 
fuck that up, didn't I? Push the shape up a little bit. I'm not all about the bloody clean tones anyway. You probably hear much more of a difference when you um, sweep through the EQ when you've got a bit of crunch behind it. Okay, shapes all the way down. Just add a bit of gain. back a little bit, increase the shape maybe. Turn the shape up a bit more. There's probably, I think this thing is very sensitive. Pretty much on every point, it'll sound quite different. I'm not, I'm not going to go through the whole lot, but let's just randomly uh, go through it. a bit more up more full ball Yeah, that's really scooped when you go all the way up. How about nine o'clock? I'm sure there's loads of tones you can dial into this thing if you just make minor adjustments between all the knobs, you know, volume down, gain up, gain up, volume down, sweep it all the way from start to finish. There's going to be heaps of different tones. And I haven't played with this enough to know what my favorite tones are yet. I'm just sort of randomly going through it. Let's go with a more high gain tone.
a PP. <música> to about two o'clock on the shape. Quite a bit brighter. But then as you go higher up on it, it gets more scooped. About, about was that three o'clock? And then it's going to be scooped. Let's go for more high gain. Yeah. Turn the shape up a little bit. getting into sort of Pantera uh, style gain. Let's push it a bit more. That's sounding pretty damn good. The gain's all the way up. <laughs> you probably don't need it that high. Shape up a bit. Let's keep going. And then very scooped. All right, I'm just going to pick a random EQ that I thought sounded pretty good. And let's play some riffs with this setting. I think maybe about there. I've got no pedals plugged in, no overdrive, nothing like that. Just straight from the amp.
that's where it goes. <laughs> So what can I say? I think this amp is a bloody bargain. It's bloody loud. I haven't even cranked it yet. I haven't really gone past one, two, three, the fourth notch, and it's already, you know, pretty damn loud in here. I think it's perfectly capable of keeping up with a band, uh, but I haven't tried yet. That's to come. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and thumbs up. You know, drop any comments down below if you've got any questions or you just want to tell me how shit I am. That's cool. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah, more videos coming soon. I've got a Boss Katana update video coming in the next one. So stay tuned for that and catch you later. Football. Oh, fucking phones. Fuck off, Sean. Just joking. Alright, got the message. Fuck off now. Oh, fuck off, cunt. Another fucking message coming through. Fuck off. Turn my fucking data off. What a cunt it is to record video on your phone. Especially when you're using amps, anyway. What? I turned my data off. Lose it in a minute.